Larry, I got your coffee. You wanted the coffee? Well, no, I had I had written Merry Christmas. Oh, that one. On, so does somebody have a, a Sharpie? It, may I borrow that? Uh, uh, Joel, do you have a Sharpie? Oh, here we go. And we can. I yeah, like somebody idea. said, yeah, tell them that your name is Merry oh, Christmas. Oh, it, it and then was Don Kilmeade's idea. Brian's okay. wife's idea to write, Mary, say that your name is Merry Christmas so that they'd take the time to write that and then there present it to you. Terrific idea. Except well, I don't remember Starbucks ever having Merry Christmas on their cups in the first place, did they? It was like snowflakes. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Snow I remember that. Yeah. A couple oh, years ago. Oh, oh. Okay, we're going to do a little show business lie. Okay. Uh, uh, it's a, just a poetic license, artistic license. And say this is the one that I did this morning because I took it back. Well, I wrote it on there with their sharpie, <laughs> with their sharpie, with that bar, their sharpie that they okay. usually put you. And I said, after I, got, I want to wish you all a merry Christmas. That's the good. People and what they behind say? the counter, they said, Merry Christmas to you. God That's bless great. you. Wanna... So, it, I think we should start a promotion. Go in, buy your Starbucks, take a sharpie, and write Merry Christmas on it. All right. What do you guys That's think about nice. the controversy with nice. the cups? I think it's silly. I think it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's a red cup. And I just feel like people are really sensitive nowadays, and they just want to start something, whether it's a red cup or anything. But, like, start something sensitive. over nonsense. Yeah. Like, there's real-world issues crazy. out there. I don't think a Starbucks cup yeah. should so be one it, of them. Do you think it delegitimizes the war against Christmas? Because, I mean, a, a lot no, of people think that's I'm real, right? Christmas. I mean, homeowners yeah. associations are making it's neighbors the take down their manager or their mangers. And, yeah, and at the mall, you're absolutely Simon, right. Simon, yeah, they, like, that. wiped them out and made, like, white Put Santa glaciers. in a glacier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we yeah. saw that story yesterday. Jeez. Glad to be able to say that they are changing yeah. it because so many people People complained about that are good good Santa. Yeah. that I feel like is a real issue because like, yeah. when I bring my daughter to meet Santa I want the full effect mm -hmm. but when I go to Starbucks to get a coffee I don't care what it's in as long as it tastes good right <laughs> so it sounds like you girls say Merry Christmas around Christmas rather than happy holidays mm -hmm. yeah. I do both Perfect. yeah because I do have you know a lot of Jewish friends so oh, it's happy holidays, but you know Merry Christmas happy holidays you know speaking of Christmas Larry and I were talking offset earlier and he was saying that you have you have some Christmas shows coming up we do what can you tell us about those? Uh, we're at we're doing the Opryland Hotel every year. You know we're members of the Grand Ole Opry, and right next to the Opry House is uh, the Opryland Hotel, biggest hotel. I, I get lost in there. Uh, Elvis is a room service waiter at the uh, what at Gaylord Hotel, and mm -hmm. he knew he'd go there, and nobody could find him. He just, <laughs> it's just huge. It's bigger. I knew he was alive. It's, you know, and Jimmy Hoffa has an office in there, and so but at the, in the ballroom they have a, a big dinner show. So we're doing. Uh, we start. Uh, November 20th through the day after Christmas. We'll do some of our country hits, thank God, and you know, the, some of the secular songs and the Christmas carols. You know, Larry, uh, we've got here uh, Nicole Polizzi, we remember her as Snooky from the Jersey Shore, and uh, Jay Wow, also known as uh, Jenny Farley. Um, they've got small kids at home. They could use somebody serenading their children. Oh, yeah. It would be good for their That's online nice. show. I'm just saying, next time you're back in the New York City area, maybe you could go out to their place yeah. and shut the kids up. What do they like? Um, Barney. No, well, mouse. I don't know if I could do a. Uh, you can do, sing anything, anything like that you do. Yeah. do. Away in a manger is Barney. Oh, way. <laughs> no. You know, somebody might have a problem with that. Well, they, but you know, See? they can just have it. Right? You know, they can just look. We're not going to change. Though. We're not going to change Mr. Schultz. You know, uh, and his way of doing business. I would say, the best way for those who believe in Christmas and what it means, and believe in Easter. And what that means. So, as a Christian, you know, without Easter, Christmas yep. would just be a cold day in December. Right. You know, so it completes the cycle. I think the thing to do, what we do, sit down before they open the presents and open to the second chapter of Luke and read them the story, mm -hmm. so they'll know it. Go. So that when their contemporaries wage a war on Christmas, that they'll have something to talk about and know mm -hmm. what the, you know, what the deal's really about. Yeah, it's about it's presents. Great. Celebrate hard. Right. It's about uh, the birth of the It's a beautiful idea. Why not do That's what we do every yeah. Christmas morning before we open presents. All right. Oh, before you go, how can we see your online show? Where is it online? Go to our YouTube channels yeah. and Awestruck under Verizon. Fantastic. Okay. All right. And Larry, you see down in Nashville. Thank you. 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 Thank you.